What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Ripple Van Winkle. Folks, it's Sunday. It's November 26th. The year is quickly coming to an end. My vacation comes to an end today, but we're going to kick it off with a bang because we're going to watch football all day. I can't wait. I'm excited. I love football Sundays, but you're in for a treat this morning because we got a doozy of a video for you. You're not going to believe what's going on right now. Not only is XRP pumping. Yeah, no, it's a little bit of a pump. 2.14%, but you're not going to believe who's buying up XRP. I got you covered. This video is going to be fully dedicated to the people who are secretly buying XRP behind the scenes. The same people who've been trashing XRP for quite some time. And guess what they're doing? They are buying it up like you have never seen before. So without further ado, let's stop wasting time. Let's jump into this thing. Bitcoin, $37,718. It's currently down 0.14% in the past 24 hours. Ethereum coming in at 2,090. It's up about a half a percent. USDT and USDC both coming in at their dollar pegs as XRP is up 2.16% in the past 24 hours, coming at a mean lean 63 cents. Remember, our next magical target for XRP is to get above that 66 cent threshold. Total cryptocurrency market cap, 1 trillion 441 billion. Remember, until we get above 2 trillion, I'm not going to enter full bull mode. We are getting closer and closer each and every single day that passes by, especially with the news of this ETP that is coming next month, which is only about, about a week away. And you're going to be shocked and blown away with the people who are actually buying XRP on the ETP. We're going to break it down. What's the difference between an ET, ETP versus an ETF? Now, if you're not a part of my project, Lux Lions, folks, it's almost the end of the month. Everyone who qual everyone who buys an NFT this month qualifies for the XRP that gets sent back to your wallet December 1st. The first of every month, XRP comes back to your wallet. That's how simple it is. You can buy in November. You can never buy another NFT. And in February, you're still getting XRP back. In August of next year, you're still getting XRP back. That's how simple it is. The hottest one's going right now as we scroll down. The mob tier NFT, folks. Those are the hottest ones. And we still got a couple of superheroes left. They might be on page two. They are on page two. But if you're looking to get in, it's only 165 bucks per NFT. And we take credit card or XRP, the only NFT project out there that accepts credit card. Think about that for a second. XRP captain put this out. Boom. XRP is pumping. Look at that. Over 63 cents. Look at that green candle we had come up as I was sleeping last night. Waking up to a giant green candle like this is a thing of beauty. Over the past 90 days, folks, XRP is up over 20 two percent think about that think about where this is going the party hasn't even got started yet imagine what's going to happen when the party gets started you saw what xrp did as far as the price action when we had the news the fake news about blackrock looking to get in but how fake was it is blackrock going to get in i think so i'm very confident and saying that BlackRock, JP Morgan, all the central banks around the world are going to be getting in on XRP. I mean, look at this. Who remembers this clown? Anthony Papliano, host of the Off-Chain Podcast and co-founder of Morgan Creek Capital, said he would not buy XRP when asked in an interview of CNN's Julie Chatterley. What happened to her? Pop said Bitcoin apart from other blockchain projects and said XRP has nothing driving value that he could point to. Oh, interesting, Pop. Listen to this clip. We're not going to play the full thing. We're going to play a segment of it. A final question. If you yeah. can't, if you couldn't own or buy Bitcoin, what other digital asset would you buy? Yeah, it's, it's a great question. Um, it would probably be digitized traditional assets, right, or tokenized uh, traditional assets. I don't think that traditional assets are necessarily going to go away. What we're going to see is a similar transition from what we saw in what I call like the analog age of security. So stocks used to be physical pieces of paper that we would buy and sell and transact. Wait, so you wouldn't buy... XRP, or you wouldn't buy nope. TRX. Why? No, because I, I ultimately don't think that they have the same value that these other assets have, right? My the belief store is of value argument. Yeah, my belief is that stocks. What gives them value, right? Again, GDP, revenue, profits, etc. All the stream things. Stream of income from a company that's doing something. Or they have assets, something or right? Etc. Creating something. So, everything that makes those valuable 
that doesn't change. You're just changing the technology form factor of which you will buy that asset. So you won't buy that electronic piece of it anymore. You'll now buy that same stock or just be a digitized or tokenized stock. I actually like those assets. They're not bad assets. And I don't think that Bitcoin competes with those assets. What Bitcoin competes with very specifically is other currencies, right? And those currencies... Oh, Bitcoin competes with other currencies? In what world? In what... Seriously, what world does Bitcoin compete with any other currency? It's slow. It can't scale. The blockchain gets backed up. Have you ever seen a cashier at a store saying, hey, we can't accept your money right now because the registers are, are, are backed up? I don't think so. So Pop goes on to say no, because I ultimately don't think that they have the same value that these other assets have. My belief is that stocks, what gives them value, GDP, revenues, profits, et cetera, everything that makes those valuable, that doesn't change. You're just changing the technology form factor of which you will buy that asset. Then who remembers when Pop had... Brad Garlinghouse on his show and put toilet paper behind his head, pretty much saying that it's trash, it's crap. I think you get the image there, but look at this. Chad put this down in Cowboy Crypto. Look who's investing in the XRP ETP. Hi, Pomp. There he is. Here's the tweet. Here it is right here, folks. 21 shares, XRP ETP. Look at the investors. All the people who have talked down upon XRP. Anthony Papliano is on there buying up the XRP ETP. Catherine Woods on there. Morgan Creek Digital, who Pop works for, folks, right? It says right here. Pompliano, who's the co-founder of Morgan Creek. So not only is Pomp buying it himself, the XRP ETP, but the co-founder, he's a co-founder of Morgan Creek. He is buying it for his company as well. I wonder why, folks. Exchange traded product allows exposure to the asset without directly owning it. The underlying asset, excuse me, is kept in cold storage and is not traded on the public market. The 21 shares Ripple XRP ETP is going for a value of $17.48 with a year-to-date return of over 72%. Here's the tweet. Here it is. GXRP, ETC Group, Physical XRP. Now, you're probably asking yourself, well, Rip, what's the difference between an ETP and an ETF? It's very simple. Now, I'm going to break it down. An ETF is a type of investment fund in an exchange-traded product, meaning it trades on stock exchanges similar to individual stocks. ETFs are designed to track the performance of a specific index, commodity bond, or a basket of assets. ETFs can be passively managed or actively managed while an ETP is a broader term that encompasses a variety of exchange-traded investment in instruments, including ETFs. ETPs, not only ETFs, but also other exchange product exchange, exchange traded products such as ETNs and ETCs. While ETFs are the most common type of an ETP, the term ETP covers a wider range of investment structures. So in summary, what are we looking at? All ETFs are ETPs, but not all ETPs are ETFs. And what is he doing right here? What's Pomp doing? Well, the same asset he said he would never own or that he would never buy. He is buying personally for himself and for his company, Morgan Creek Capital. Do you see what the narrative is here, folks? Everything that these people, the elite, have been telling you for the years, the years, and I've been here since 2017, and I heard the same narrative since 2017 to present day. They would never touch XRP. They would never buy XRP. It's a shit coin. It does nothing. It never will do anything. It's just to get Ripple rich. What are they doing? They are buying XRP. Why? Well, they know what's coming. They know a bull run's coming. They see what the central banks are doing. They see where all the money is going. They see that Ripple is actually fixing and solving a real problem. So what are they all doing now? They are loading up on XRP. They know where it's going to go. They know that the price is about to take off and that the price is about to boom. And they are loading their bags. And all the meantime, what were they doing? They were trying to keep the price low. And that's exactly what they have done. They kept the price low. We look right now at 63 cent XRP. Yeah, to some of us, it may be expensive because we got in when it was 17 cents, 20 cents like myself. But if we look at the long picture here, the bigger picture, and we look at the long play on XRP, a 10, 20, 30, $40 XRP is coming. 
it is coming. So when we look at a 63 cent XRP compared to a double digit XRP, this is still super, super cheap folks and they are all lining their bags they are all jumping in and at the same time they were all telling you to stay away from it you should only invest in bitcoin why because that was their narrative because they own bitcoin they want you to pump the price because they want you to be their exit liquidity what are they going to do they're going to pump uh, Bitcoin until they can't pump it anymore. They're going to sell out. You're going to be buying their bags. While in the meantime, what are they going to be doing? Rotating into XRP like we see them doing now. It doesn't lie. 21 shares. It shows you who the investors are. It's in black and white. Pops on there. Morgan Creek, Catherine Wood, Collab Currency, Collaborative Ventures, East Chain, ETFs Capital, Marshall Wave, Quiet Ventures, Valor Equity Partners, and there are going to be plenty more that get in. Do not listen to what these people are telling you. They are not here to help you. They are here to hurt you. And they are here to line their own pockets and to protect themselves and to make themselves as wealthy as they can while we are all sitting back in the dust. You've done the research, you've seen the partnerships, you followed a bunch of smart people on Twitter who've done the research for you. We are almost there. The exit or the finish line, I should say, is near. Stick to the plan. Know what you hold. XRP, it's going to the moon and there's nothing you can do to stop it. Wash your damn hands, be nice, and be kind to each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.